Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I so enjoyed our conversation last time, and I would love to hear where you were before you joined Invisible and why you chose to come here. It was a weird point because I wanted to give the academic life a pause. While I was conducting science, I wasn't able to express my creativity. I wanted to build things because it was fun to do and it was a good outlet for me. It was something that wasn't to be captured by just words or by just numbers. So at that point, I was thinking, you know, maybe starting a project, something very new, it will probably fail, but I will learn how to build something out there in the world. I wasn't thinking working at a company who will treat me as an engineer and nothing else. I want to be a part of what the company wanted, how the company would conceptualize that, operationalize that. I'm not cut for a regular job, I think. Um, that's where I was before joining Invisible, approaching me as I was a run engineer. And at that point, I wasn't an engineer, actually. I was just wearing a hat of engineer when needed. Anyway, I see the passion of creating things in people get Invisible. Like, it's not just carrying out instructions or doing the tasks that you are given. That was quite clear and that caught my attention. That made me think about being at Invisible. What have you liked most about being here? So I was expecting some hardships for the first several months because this is the first time I am identifying myself with the role of an engineer. Last month was better than anticipated because I'm making progress and the channels of communications are open. I could voice my perspective. People will listen to it. People will give feedback. People will integrate their point and something wonderful will come up. What excites you most about what we're building? So right now I'm working on Manticore, the wizard builder part of it. People will be able to come up with their own because yeah. it's a drag and drop sort of approach. It's, it's almost like playing with Legos in a sense. Maybe they will make it a part of their thinking in general. So this is, this is the thing that intrigues me and this is the thing that excites me. That makes sense to me. It makes a lot of sense to me. Who you think would enjoy being an invisible and who you think wouldn't? This is, this is a great question that I haven't thought about before. So just, just give me a minute um, yeah. so that I could make my mind. An engineer who just wants to finish tasks wouldn't enjoy being here that much because at this point, you need to think about the, the grand ideas here. I mean, I think digital assembly line is a grand idea. It's, it's not simple um, at all. And you need to digest this, I think, in order to be happy here. I mean, if you just want to finish the tasks and be done with them, I think you would feel left behind a little bit. And I suppose the opposite of that is also true, right? The person who's going to enjoy building things here wants to understand the intent and not just the requirements. Yes. That's and cool. also the process itself. Yeah. I, mean, I am having fun just by watching some people debate. Uh, yeah. One thing I find that it's really satisfying because I'm focused on doing anything or building or thing, but it still requires imagination. This is a very valuable thing, I think, to, to feel that your job requires you to be creative. Yeah. I mean, if, if you enjoy that, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I do. Yeah. And you do too. Yeah. I need intellectual stimulation and imagination, but I am not content if things are left at concepts. I need them translated into reality. So I find that really satisfying about being here. 
Yeah, I mean, I can relate to that um, because one of the frustrating aspects of being an academic for me was I had some good ideas, but they weren't relevant to the funding um, world. That frustrated me uh, because I wanted to put my hands on and funding was the key to that because I was gathering data from people and you need to like use expensive equipment and stuff. But here, at this point, I'm feeling like, hey, that idea could be implemented. This could come to fruition. Very cool. So is there anything else that you think someone who might want to join should know? Anything else you'd like to add? To a person who enjoys organizing stuff would very much enjoy being here because we need better organization. We need better communication within the teams or between teams. Uh, yep. So anyone with such needs, anyone who thinks that there are ways to improve the way people uh, work could, could enjoy the process because you'll be a part of it. So you can just see parts of yourself when you look at the organization, let's say a year from now. So I think someone who enjoys this, who enjoys improving, improve, improving the efficiency and the working so teams could enjoy being here. I find myself very close to the idea throughout my um, academic career. I always felt like there was a lot um, to be improved managerially. It was one of the things that I always wanted to be a part of, like finding ways to improve that, make people more happy with their work as well. Because I mean, we are spending quite a, quite a lot of our time working, right? Yeah, a meta level of learning inside it for clients, right? Yeah. We're trying to reorganize the way work is done in the first place. Yeah. So when we're working on how to integrate, we are learning how to organize ourselves and our own workflows optimally in ways that also can inform the thing that we're building downstream. Well, Ta, thank you. I think this is pretty much all that's needed. And if you've got a couple extra minutes, I'd love to get your feedback on a project that I'm working on.